teddy bear out of fur and today we're going to be covering the pattern pieces and how to put them together. Okay, here's the leg completed. I've finished stitching. The next thing I'm going to add is the foot pad which is the ultra suede and this is a little bit of the padding that came out of the mink. I decided to use that to give a little more substance to the pad itself. It'll fill it out more and you'll see that when I'm finished stitching it on. So anyway, I'm going to stitch it on and what you have to do is you have to mark the center of the front and the back foot pad and what I do is I put a little notch in here That's and here. And what you're going to do is you're going to match these notches up to the seams so that it's, the material is evenly distributed around the foot. Again, you want to push as much of the fur in as possible. And the ultra suede padding goes on the inside because when you turn it out, then that'll be the bottom of his foot. So I'm matching the notch up to the seam. I think that this is one of the hardest parts to do on the bear, is the foot pad. Now you can cut away some of this fur that gets in your way because it's going to be on the inside. And this way you can see the seam. And it makes it a little bit easier to attach the pad. The best way I find to pin this is to pin it on the top side. And this is the side that we're going to be sewing from. Again, try to get as much of your fur inside as possible. I'm opening this up a little bit more. You want to try to open up this seam and have everything lying as flat and as smooth as possible. And I'm matching up where I've clipped it. Sometimes the needles don't, the pins don't want to go into the fur or the leather. There's parts of the skin, I guess, that are tougher than other parts. Now 
and I just work my way all the way around. Make sure you always catch your muslin in your seam allowance so it doesn't cut the fur. Sometimes I put a little clip in the muslin so that it goes around the curve a little better. You can also clip the fur as long as you stay within the seam allowance. You want to try to get this pad to fit in here as smoothly as possible and without any ripples because once you stitch it down you can't take it back up. And you can just shove this fur in here any which way you want because when we're all finished we're going to be combing this fur out so everything blends along the seam allowances. It's ready to stitch and I'll sew from the top side around. I try not to talk while I'm sewing because the machine is so loud. Again, you don't want to have any wrinkles in here when you're stitching this, or at least try not to have any. And it's stitched on. And I like to look at the bottom to make sure it looks smooth. There's a section here of the lining that didn't get caught in there, but it's still within the seam allowance, so that's okay. Now what I do is I make more clips along here, and I cut little V's out because this gets rid of the bulk and it looks more finished once you turn it right side out. And another good thing is to clip away all of this excess fur in that seam allowance. Again, I'm cutting some of this fur that's hanging out in this which is in the seam allowance. Finish making your little V notches all the way around. Okay, before we turn this leg right side out, we have to do some more clipping on the stress points. We're going to do a couple of clips in here so that when the leg is turned right side out, it'll have a nice curve. And we've got to do some clipping around here because we want it to bend smoothly once we've turned it right side out. Okay, now the leg is ready to be flipped to the right side. So, here we go. What I try to do is to gather the top part of the leg 
and flip that first. This is why you do tack backs on this opening so that the opening doesn't come op open while you're flipping the leg out. And this is a little tool that I have. Um, I'm going to be including some websites where you can buy these various tools. And I'll use, be using an owl also. But we'll finish using this. This is what I use to stuff the bear. But if you gently, because you don't want to open the bear up, gently finish putting the bear right side out and gently push on these paws pads. And again, at the top. Now if we did this correctly, your fur is going to be going down, the nap is going down, And there's his paw. I also have a comb. We'll be combing this fur out later on. I'll show you how we do that. And this completes one leg and I will be doing the other leg offline and you'll see both of them completed on our next episode. <laughs>